We have an example problem here. An electron is accelerated from rest through a potential difference of 1200 volts. It then enters a region where a magnetic field of 80 microteslas is oriented perpendicular to the electron's motion. What is the radius of the er electron's motion in the magnetic field? All right, so to have kind of a visual here, we have this electron, a negative charge. It's in a region where there is an electric field. So there's a potential difference. Delta V coming all in this region, potential difference that causes it to speed up. Once it is through this potential difference, it is now in a magnetic field. It tells us this magnetic field is oriented perpendicular to the electron's motion. So the way I've drawn it, our electron would end up moving to the right. Its velocity would be to the right. The magnetic field then either points up and down on the screen, or, sorry, up or down, on the screen or in or out of the screen. It just does not point right or left. The reason we care about that is because the magnetic force is this cross product equation. Oh, let's write that better. QV cross B. So cross product equations in terms of magnitude, we can write as QVB sine phi, where phi is the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field. So when the problem tells us that it enters a region where it's now, its motion is oriented perpendicular to the magnetic field, that tells me that phi is 90 degrees. So the magnetic force on this charge is simply QVB, which is when we set this equal to MA, where A was V squared over R, we ended up talking about the R cyclotron. So the radius of this cyclotron motion, MV over QB, this is the equation ultimately we're going to use. So we'll want the mass of the electron, which we can get off the test notes. V here is the speed at which the electron will be moving, which we need to figure out. Q is the charge of the electron. B is the strength of the magnetic field, which they gave us. So to use this equation, we need to find V, meaning speed. How fast is this electron traveling? Okay, potential difference. This takes us back to the previous section where we said the change in kinetic energy is the negative change in potential energy. But the change in potential energy of a charge moving through a potential difference can be written as Q delta V. So delta V is this 1200 volts. So they've given us this. This is the potential difference the charge moves through. Kinetic energy, 1 half mv final squared minus 1 half m the initial squared. Oops. Is going to equal negative q delta v. We're told that the electron starts at rest. So this initial kinetic energy term is zero. So the speed, if we just solve for this V final, this is the speed at which this charge will be moving as it gets through this region with an electric field. So Q of an electron, negative one point why am I suddenly blinking? E, 1.6, yeah, sorry. 
1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. The potential difference they've given in the problem, 1,200 volts. Off the front cover of the test notes, the mass of an electron, 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31. So I'm going to plug this in to find the speed at which this electron is traveling when it leaves the region where there's a magnetic field. So 2.053 times 10 to the seventh meters per second. This is the speed of the electron as it enters the magnetic field. Once the electron enters the region with the magnetic field, it's now going to start traveling in circles. So the magnetic field causes the electrons to move in circles. This particular question asked us to find the radius of this circular motion. And so that's why I'm grabbing this R cyclotron. So I'm going to just plug our numbers in here. The mass of our electron, 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31. The speed is what I just found. Q. Now the charge of an electron is negative, but I don't put the negative sign in here. I can, I'll get a negative answer, but a negative radius doesn't really make sense. So I do just put the magnitude in here. The magnetic field they told us in the problem is 80 micro Teslas. So plugging my numbers in. I'm getting, so we have what at best two sig figs, so 1.5. The units will be in meters if all of these individual units had been in meters. Or sorry, in SI units, not meters. So this electron will move in circles that has a radius of 1.5 meters. That's what this means. Okay, another side note. It is very common on this type of problem to try to solve this problem. And it will not be correct. I can see why someone might grab it, because it has a Q, it has a V, it has an R, it has a B for magnetic field. So it has variables, at least the letters that we would be expecting to find. But this equation is the magnetic field created by a moving charge. A moving charge does not move in a circle because of its own magnetic field. So this equation under the side note is the magnetic field that the electron itself would be creating. The magnetic field. But the reason an electron will move in a circle is because it's moving through the magnetic field that something else 
is creating. And so the electron is experiencing a force, and that magnetic force causes the circular motion. Excuse me. So be sure that you're being careful with the equations you're grabbing to use. If you know the charge itself is moving in a circle because of it moving through an external magnetic field, you want to use the cyclotron motion equations.